We make films to tell stories. <laughs> However, even in this simple purpose, there exists war. A war on truth. The correct way to tell a story. For the formalists, it consists of chopping, editing, and directing of reality to exactly depict the storyteller's desires. The truth here is what erupts in our own hearts. When we watch movies that completely bend reality, the truth of reality exists in our feelings. Realists, on the other hand, would call this murder. A story made false and filtered. A story that is focused only on the all-star moments of life, ignoring the everyday mundane ones. They instead choose to leave zero imprint on the camera, allowing freedom to the viewers. They offer a way of looking at reality as one would through their own two eyes. If not for this, how else would one tell truth if it's not filtered in any way possible? Isn't a story fake if it dramatizes reality in any way? How can gang members watch American Me, for example, and hope for it to do anything for gang violence in America, or even Southern California alone? The problem in current ethnic studies, according to Russian philosopher Mikhail Bakhtin, is the mistake of realists to treat ethnic groups as easily accessible. American film theorist Robert Stamm placed Bakhtinian work in the view of film. That is, the idea of realism to focus whether or not the film got something wrong, rather than the actual truth of the ethnic group. If we take a look at American Me, a 1992 film produced and directed by Edward James Olmos, we find the exact conflict of truth in film, truth of ethnic and racial representation. The story follows the character Montaya Santana, a Mexican man raised in East LA amidst a time of gang violence and mass racial prejudice. We follow Santana from his early teens entering into Juvie, murdering his rapist and is sentenced into prison. He gains respect. He owns the prison. He is the boss of El M, the Mexican mafia. He smuggles drugs from inside and outside the prison yard. As an adult, Santana is reintroduced to civilization. There he finds his life to have been paused long ago. To civilization, he has the knowledge of a child, but he battles with the instincts of a murderous gang leader. I like to buy these. Uh... I'll be with you in a minute. Hey. Look at me when you talk to me, all right? In the film, we view Olmos's own perspective on the Mexican culture in LA, a representation that may differ from that of others. Olmos chose to make this film in East LA amidst the gangs that he was directing the film about. He used the rival gang members as actors, as well as local children in hopes of pulling them from the gang life. This was Olmos's own view, experience, and attempt at a solution or representation of the harshness of gang violence. Although his film does not attempt at realist techniques, almost blurred the line between reality and story. We've all made movies. The only difference between this movie and other movies is that we're stuck in between a war zone. We're right in the cusp of like three different groups of kids. Robert Stamm's interpretation of Bakhtin's philosophy of ethnic and racial representation onto film states exactly that. That a real life occurrence is filtered by our own experience of it which, when applied to film, is filtered once again. The film or story is then a refraction of a refraction. Therefore, art is its own realism. It's its own social happening, an occurrence as real as any other. Olmos's film of gang violence in California has caused many deaths of his crew, a hit by El Emma on himself and much of the local gang members who participated in the film being shot in drive-bys. Two weeks after I got off the set, I got shot. I was blind instantly. It's kind of ridiculous being a victim of a drive-by shooting when I just done a act for a drive-by, you know? I didn't even get to see the movie. Although controversial and even Hollywoodized with dramatic music, editing, sound, and lighting, American Me achieved truth nevertheless. Not by avoiding getting it wrong or over-dramatizing, but rather through Bakhtin's approach of choices, representation, and mediation. The problem then is not loyalty to a pre-existing truth or reality, but a specific orchestration of discourses in relation to a theme. The theme here being the uselessness of gang violence. The controversy itself around the film, claiming almost to be ignorant of the challenges of getting out of such gang life, display that such a film has entered reality, even if the criticism is correct. 
Almost you and I will never accurately depict a shared human experience. However, what matters is that we stay true and realistic to our mediated experience of the world as we direct and create a story. Such is the case of American Me. However many times you have may seen the film before, vote for American Me nonetheless, as it displays in real time an accurate and to its effect controversial reality of ethnic and racial representation in film. Which one?